<sighs> well, it's, I still like it. All right, this I'm going to assume is the traitor in this part of the story. Ventress, Vaz, and Kenobi on return to the Jedi Temple. Ventress gets a full pardon, but she still thinks Vaz is turned to the dark side, and everything seems well, Vaz. But a couple jobs go strangely, and then Vaz says he wants to be with Ventress. He doesn't want to be a Jedi anymore. And eventually, the Council believes Vaz is still working for Dooku, and they decide to come for test to test him. And this episode is pretty good. I mean, it's been a while since I read it, so my memory's a little fuzzy, but... Again, I think it's still good, but I feel like this part of the story is... It's still good, it's just not as good as, like, the stuff that came before, like the whole Ventress and Vaz team up. But, you know, there was some stuff I liked. I like Ventress getting a full part in. And I love how the novel just captures this weird feeling of, now what? Like, she, she's suddenly a free woman. She can go wherever she wants, do whatever she wants. And I like how they... It was weird. I think part of what makes this arc feel weird is that it's no longer the Ventures and Vaz story. Like, now we're focusing on the Jedi Council and what they're up to. So, like, we have this major shift in perspective, which makes it feel different. Like, this clearly feels like a separate arc. Like, I mean, the time lapse, the shift in focus. I like how they acknowledge the Anakin and Padme romance. The parallels between Anakin and Padme's relationship and Ventress and Boss's relationship. And they're, the scene between them was a little too seductive. I wonder, is that the night that they did it? Because I feel like I don't know. I mean, how close are we to the events of Revenge of the Sith? Are we weeks, months? Because I very much get the... Because, like, beginning of the novel, they say, like, the war's been going on for almost three years. I forget, almost two years or three years. I forget how much. But, yeah, I mean, throughout this novel, I've been getting this... It's implied that we're close to the end of the Clone Wars. You know, Ventress really disappears a lot in this, and so that's part of why this one is good. Ventress is a very compelling character, and she's absent for most of the story. Another part is just the council. I feel it takes him a little too long to catch on to Vaz, the fact that he's not all there. Like, I mean, he's like, I just need to go over here and take care of something, and Obi-Wan's like, okay. Like, whatever. I do, I mean, there were some cool stuff. I like going back to the planet where Dooku met Hondo in season one. We get to see Rex and Jesse for the first time in the arc. And the Jedi's debate about what to do with Boss is interesting, and I am, it does have me really curious about how ultimately this is all gonna end. The fates of Ventress and Vaz. And I'm really looking forward to the culture. So I'm sorry if this was a bit of a short vlog. Again, I haven't read this novel in a while, and I haven't read the... And this is my oh yeah, another thing I want to touch on is that... There's a couple of fear... I'm going to touch on like a fear I have about why this isn't as good, and part of it might just be the wrap-up, but I think part of it is also the fact that this is one... Assuming that the... The last hundred pages of this novel is an arc from season eight. There is a good chance that this is something they just wrote, and maybe it wasn't written all the way through. Maybe, I mean, I'm sure it was, but I don't know. Maybe they had plans to go back and do one or two more re thorough rewrites of this, which I feel like could have been beneficial. And like again, this was like the last thing they wrote, so they probably just wrote this. Like, like this could be something that maybe they don't even have concept art for. They just have sketches for. And also, Katie Lucas was going through a really bad breakup at the time I read this, so maybe she was letting get personal feelings in the way. I don't know. I'm just speculating. I could be wrong. This art could have been completely done. They could have been completely satisfied with it. And again, it's not bad. I still really enjoyed it. I just, compared to the first half, this isn't as good. 
but I'm looking forward to seeing how it concludes. So, this is JSTR60, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care.